You know, I see these guys, they're a group of guys, you know, and, and they're missing fingers, and they've got scabs and, and sores on them. Perhaps they're missing toes or feet, so they're, they're hobbling along. Are they running back? Are they rushing back? Are they kind of just strolling because they don't, you know, there's only so much time that they've got, and they've got, it's got plenty of time, and might as well just keep going? Or are they, you know, <laughs> trying to run, and you've seen people on crutches try to run, it's amusing, yeah. don't make fun of them. <laughs> and they're, they're cruising along, going, you know, here, let's go, let's go try to get to Jesus, they're walking along, and, and suddenly as they're walking along, there's a, there's a mob, there's this group, there's ten, ten people. There's some straggling behind, some straggling in front. They're coming out. And they're all hanging out. And they're, they're, they're coming together. And, and they're moving towards Jesus. And suddenly they start looking at their hand. And they're looking at their hand. They're going, dude, look at this. I have all my fingers. How cool is that? It's cool, isn't it? Look at your foot is back. Because he's been the guy in the crutch. The teens are out there. I told them I'd come out and preach them. <laughs> <laughs> You need to bring them on board this mic. You can just go anywhere. <laughs> They're talking, it's something like the dude who's got a crutch. It's like, I have it with a crutch. He's like, oh, I got a foot. I don't need a crutch anymore. And they're moving along, and, and this, in my mind, increases the speed at which they're moving. They're moving that much faster. Because now they're like, wow! I've been healed! As they went, they were cleansed of their lives. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouted, praise God. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was in. <laughs> so Jesus walks into the city. He's yelling at these poor lepers. Get out! Go by the priest! And then he walks into the city. He sits down. And someone, of course, is like, oh, Jesus, my wife makes some great bread. And try some bread and here's some water. And so Jesus is in there and he's talking. And suddenly there's like this dude that a long way off. You ever heard someone yell in the distance? Like if you're out away from the city, like up in a call or somewhere, and someone starts yelling, you hear it. It's kind of this weird sound. It gets louder and closer and more defined and more focused. There's this dude that's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what in the world? And this dude is just running and suddenly he's barging into the town, and here's all these people around Jesus having a nice, civilized conversation. Very similar to what we have going on here. Nice, civilized time. Just chatting. And suddenly, there's this dude that comes cruising through the door who's screaming, Praise God! It'll mess up church. <laughs> I mean, just imagine if one of those teenagers who's out there chatting, trying to ignore me, Suddenly came barging through the door, not in a show of being stupid, because that was what the teenagers would do, and I would be right along with them. But out of sincerity, are coming and going, Oh my word, I've just seen Jesus. And, and the partner's like, cool, the partner's like, um, who unleashed the crazy freaky people? <laughs> and not only that, but he comes in and he face plants in front of Jesus. Falls at his feet, the Bible says. Thanking him for what he's done. The little jar of water has been kicked to the side and someone's got their feet wet and muddy. The bread has been scattered to the other side. And here's this guy just grabbing on Jesus' feet going, thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you, uh, what are you thankful for? This one. I mean, if you, if, you, if you let go and you were shouting, if you were in that point, whoa, what are you really thankful for this morning? What? What are you thankful for this morning? Really? Not like, I'm thankful for the clothes. What are you really thankful for, Audrey? Okay. We are really thankful that you're here, too. You've had the, the sickness of children for a long time. Yeah, it's going to be a bit longer. <laughs> a different kind of quarantine, but yeah. Cool. What else? What else do you think? What are you really thankful for this morning? Mark? I'm thankful for my, my family and praising the Lord that they know Him. Amen. Very cool. Shout. <laughs> <laughs> she was in 
quarantine. Yes, she was. That's my wife, and she's been on bed rest for how many weeks now, baby? 14 weeks and 3 days. But who's counting? How many weeks? And she's out. You see, to be thankful for something, you have to know what it's like to not have that thing. To be thankful for something, you have to know what it's like to not have that thing. See, my daughter Jocelyn, who's almost three, tell me, you guys, I'm relegated to just telling Jocelyn stories because somehow there's always one person in the room for everybody. Last time I told a story about one of my older girls, I told you all not to say anything, and what y'all do? You went to tell me, oh, I'm ready to talk about with you. When he left you, and oh, we're before, and humiliated before a child, and now I can't tell stories about Corey. Thank you. <laughs> so we're just, we, all, we all get Jossie stories until I ask them. I don't have one. Um, Jossie's almost three, and you know what? Jossie is completely, completely, and absolutely ungrateful for her parents. <laughs> <laughs> is Drew no. thankful for you guys at all? No. Not really? Not so much at all? Yeah. Directly around Not really at all. But Jim, hey, let's hang out with you, but not grateful whatsoever. Not thankful. Absolutely not. Because Drew, fortunately, doesn't know what it's like to not have good parents to care about. He doesn't have a clue. Now, you and I have seen other people that don't take care of their kids. You may have gone through times where your parents weren't there for you. And so when you see good parenting, you're like, wow, that's really 